everyone, I'm Kirsty and this is my wife Kaish. Uh, we're here with our 11 month old daughter Ellie and we've also got a giant dog that I'm sure you'll see at some point called Puddle. So today we're doing a playroom tour. Uh, this is our lounge but we use it as Ellie's playroom. We spend most of our time here. Uh, before we start, just wanted to explain some of our choices. So we've been working towards minimalism for a while, which is why we don't have that many toys. Um, and in line with that, and also trying to be more sustainable, we've opted for a toy subscription service, uh, which is called Whirly, and we'll talk more about that. But basically, we didn't want loads of toys cluttering up our house, potentially ended up in landfill when she gets bored with them. Um, so we've been doing that for nearly two months and it's been really well. We are also trying to set the room up in kind of a Montessori inspired way, uh, which we will show you as we go. So if you like this kind of content, you want more of it, please give the video a like and subscribe. So this is the room. And we'll start in the corner. So this is her potty area, just her potty, and then some spare pants and wipes. Oh, the pipes do not normally look like this. We've just had some work done, so ignore that. So this is her little toy shelf. We do want a bigger one, possibly. We're not sure. Um, so this is one of the first things we got from Whirly, it's just a walker. It's got blocks in it, but she doesn't really play with them. Um, but we got this because she was trying to walk. Um, she was walking really well supported, but she didn't quite have the balance or confidence to walk on her own. Here she comes. <laughs> and she's demonstrating right now. Lovely. Uh, she had this for a couple of days and then she started walking on her own so she's not really used it since then but she's very interested every time we get to town <laughs> so that's going back today and then the next one is this so it's just a kind of drop down and um, we thought this would be good for coordination fine motor skills she's not really been that interested in it uh it's just spare baskets and then in the shelves, we've got, this is just a muffin tray with some plastic fruit and veggies in. <laughs> which we put together because she just likes to kind of put things in other things and this, shake things around. Um, and we use this to name the food as well. And then this is her music little cabinet. So she's got some bells from Whirly. Do you want them, Ellie? Yeah. And then this, which you need two hands for. Just a clatter toy. And then we just made her balloon with rice in. And a bottle with dried beans in as well. With a shaker. Let's have fun. So she loves her music toys, so keeping them for a bit longer. And then down here we have this little peg thing from Whirly, which we got because she is really into hitting things. And that is literally the first time she's ever tried to hit the pegs with her hammer. It is. <laughs> okay. And she's over it. Um, but yeah, she's not used it very much. She sort of wanders around with the hammer a bit. That's about it. Um, so she is demonstrating her favourite whirly toys, which are these um, grappart wooden counting coins. Um, she likes to put them in things. She likes to eat them she likes to put them in our mouths yeah she loves them uh, we're starting to use them to name the colors and she also likes to put them in her ribbon box which is just an old tissue box full of ribbon putting that in there there we go 
So that is the shelf. And I'll leave her to play with them. And then the last toy we've got out of the minute is this Einstein table. It's just got loads of like, different activities on it. And lots of fun sounds and lights. Red. She's gone through a few different phases with this. Um, she likes to just pull the cogs off and throw them around. And at the minute, she just likes the lights and all the sliders. Yeah. So here we have what used to be our TV stand, but as you can see, we don't have a TV in here anymore. And what we have instead is Ellie's favourite book. So this is a Noisy First Words book. Uh, we've got some buttons that make noises. Um, she's very interested in books at the minute. She's sort of learning how to turn pages and she started trying to press the buttons on there. Uh, we've also always got a drink and a snack on this table at her height. Because she can't communicate with us verbally that she wants to eat and drink, but we do want her to listen to her own body's cues about when to eat and drink. We have these on her and at the very least she can go to them and indicate to us that that's what she wants. And she is able to drink out of those bottles as well, so she can just help herself. Uh, we also have this speaker which Ellie carries around every single day at some point, playing music and shouting. Um, she's really interested in music at the minute, so that works great for her. And we also have a mirror on here. Um, it is a real mirror. Um, that's kind of one of the things that we've taken from Montessori practices, that we're giving her real objects. It's fairly sturdy, but um, so I don't think she's likely to break it. And she's always supervised in this room, so we can watch what she's doing. Uh, but it's for her to kind of start to get a sense of self. Then our most recent addition to this room is literally a plastic box at the windowsill. She has been copying the dog a lot lately, who sits on this chair staring out at the park. Uh, we'll put some pictures on now of that. It's really cute. But so that she could get herself up to the windowsill. We just put this plastic box in front of it and that just gives her the extra bit of height she needs to actually be able to see out. The whirly box has arrived. And someone's ready to open it. Come on then. Yeah. What's in the box, Ellie? Oh, look how excited she is. So, first thing we've got is this push along toy. Let's see how it works. Oh, it's just got some little balls in it, so it makes a nice noise. I just thought she'd like that now that she's working. <laughs> she's ready for more. And the next thing is this Billy Bow. It's just kind of a balance toy that you can rock around in and spin. Can we give it a go? Ooh. She's not too sure about that one. What else have we got, Ellie? So we've got some interstar rings, which are kind of building block toys. Together, but she will mainly be pulling them apart. Jammies. Yeah. Um, so, um, Whirly sends a lot of the toys in these really cute canvas bags, which just keep everything nice and protected. So, the next thing we've got is this uh, little Pike's drum for drumsticks. And it's also got textured sides that can make different sounds. Let's play with that. Wow. And then we've got just a 
little dinosaur push along toy. And finally, we've got these um, stackers and nesters. So, you know, just kind of build with them, stack them. So now that we showed you the room and all of Ellie's new toys, we thought we'd just explain a bit more about Whirly, um, how it works and what we like about it. So it's basically a toy subscription service. You pay monthly or you can pay um, six monthly or yearly and you get a bit of a discount. And um, so they have different size packages, which give you different amounts of tokens. Um, and the tokens correspond to the value of toys. So if you have, say, 200 tokens, then you can have toys up to the value of £200, basically. So it's a token per pound. Isn't it? Uh, so on the website, everything's listed with um, the amount of tokens that it's worth, and you basically just select toys up to your token limit. And you can send them back at any time. Um, so you either pay delivery every time, or you can add on a delivery booster, which we've got, so we can send back as often as we like. Um, they also, up to a certain number of tokens, will send you out new toys before they receive your old ones back so that you never have a dip where you don't have any toys. Uh, so we have really loved getting whirly. We love that we're not spending money on toys that Ellie's only going to play with you for a few weeks before getting bored of and then they'll sit in our house cluttering up and probably end up in landfill eventually. Yeah. Cue the shaking camera. <laughs> um, so yeah, from a sustainability point of view, it works best for us. Uh, they do also have an amazing range of toys, so throughout Ellie's childhood she's going to be able to play with a lot more different toys than most kids would which is really good. Um, we've also had some really good experience with the customer service, find the website really easy to use. And we do absolutely love the Swifter Swaps aspect of it. Uh, when we were first looking into it, it was a bit of a worry that if we were relying solely on Wiley, we would end up having periods where we don't have any toys, but the way they've set it up means that that's not a problem. We have also just upgraded a couple of days ago, which is really easy to do through the account on the website and you just pay the extra for your current subscription. So we paid for six months at the beginning, upgraded two months in, so we just paid the extra for the last four months of our upgrade, which is really good. This is not a sponsored video or anything, we just wanted to talk about it. We think it's a really cool service, we wanted to give a quick review and um, we also have a refer a friend discount code in the description below if anyone wants to check it out and that will get you 15% off so that's it for the video today if you enjoyed this video then drop it a like and subscribe to our channel and we'll hopefully see you soon thanks bye <laughs>